anything that spins is essentially a gyroscope. And in planes, the most obvious spinning thing is what's keeping you up in the air, your propeller. Now, gyroscopic precession affects all spinning things. And you might think that's just some insignificant physics concept, but it actually affects how we fly. The classic superfluous textbook definition of precession that makes absolutely no sense is the tendency of a rotating body when a force is applied perpendicular to its plane of rotation to turn in the direction of its rotation 90 degrees to its axis and take up a new plane of rotation parallel to the force applied. To understand the pure physics behind precession, check out some of these videos because we're going to be focusing on the aviation side. So for us, our rotating body is our propeller. Its plane of rotation is just the clockwise spinning path the propeller makes from the pilot's perspective. And when we're flying, the force that is applied perpendicular to the propeller's plane of rotation is pitch. So let's say we push the yoke, our elevator goes up, and we create an effective force on the top of the propeller, which pushes our nose down, and we pitch down. If this isn't clear, Imagine the propeller on its own. When you pitch down, the propeller tilts downwards. From its perspective, this is happening because of a force that is pushing the top of the propeller downwards. According to gyroscopic precession, the force applied perpendicular to the plane of rotation will act 90 degrees in the direction of rotation. 90 degrees clockwise from the top is on the right or starboard side of the plane. Because the propeller is directly attached to the aircraft, the entire plane feels that force pushing it towards the left or port side. This is why if your airplane quickly pitches down from nose up to nose down, the plane will actually yaw towards the left. On the flip side, pitching up creates a force on the bottom of the propeller's rotation. 90 degrees in the direction of rotation from this creates a force from the left or port side of the aircraft. As a result, our plane should be pushed towards the right, right? If you've ever flown a plane, one of the first things you're taught is that on takeoff, when you're pitching up, you want to add right rudder so that you stay centered. But if precession pushes our plane to the right on takeoff, why would we want to add even more right pressure? The reason is actually pretty complex and due to various phenomena that lead to the left turning tendency of an aircraft. Essentially, there are multiple other left turning tendencies that greatly overwhelm the right push from pitching up. These tendencies will be covered in a later video. This video won't have explained the pure science behind gyroscopic precession, but it should have shown you how precession affects flying. We always want to make sure that we control where our aircraft is going. So if pitching down causes precession to yaw us to the left, we need to correct for that with more right rudder. And if we're pitching up, we need to ease the right rudder to make sure we keep flying straight. As long as your propeller is spinning, it's important to know how precession affects your aircraft and how you're going to adjust for it.